a bright and cheery day to you wherever you happen to be. Anyway, um, I actually tend to record these in the morning because that's when I seem to have my most energy. Uh, different, different strokes for different folks, obviously. Um, and today I wanted to share about uh, my thoughts on freedom with you. Uh, when you ask a lot of people why they want to be um, uh, wealthy or successful, they will say freedom. You need a bit more to dig into this a bit more. What is your definition of freedom? Freedom. Yay! Freedom to do whatever it is you want, whenever you want. It's not quite that simple as far as I can, I'm concerned. You also have to take into consideration other people's feelings and desire. Not in the very particular sense, but in a broad sense. In the broad sense of realizing that you know, you're in a community and you have some responsibilities and you can't, in your, in your search for freedom, trespass on somebody else's space, on somebody else's freedom. It's just, that's not my definition of freedom anyway. So what does freedom mean for me? Freedom means the ability to make choices which don't negatively impact on anybody else. The ability to make choices for myself the way I, you know, uh, conduct my affairs, uh, my businesses, to be able to go and do the things I want passionately. So what do I like to do? I love to travel. I have, you know, most of my professional career and continuing on is in service, producing service to others, allowing people to flourish in general, their su in general success as well as in health. That is something I'm passionate about. So you know, somebody else may have a completely different definition. Um, it may be related to their family. It may be related to, you know, um, charities. It may be related to, but whatever it is for you, define it a bit more than saying, I want freedom. Freedom, what will you do with that freedom? And that is when, when you have a goal and your why, seeing those freedoms that it grants you is going to allow you to actually really flourish. So, traveling. Generally check, I have traveled to date to, I think, 46 countries already. And that's usually several cities within the same country. So I'm expanding, not just because of tick list, by the way. It's something I've been passionate about since I was, you know, really, really young. The first things I used to spend my money on was jumping on a plane. And I like to combine that travel with obviously being able to meet people, being able to be of service to people, being able to talk to people. I make it a point of actually talking to people wherever I happen to be. Um, I want to know what makes them tick. I want to know what will make their lives better. And I want to see if there's something I can do about it, either in a, my small way immediately or in a much broader sense. Just because I don't actually help them on a one-to-one -one basis doesn't mean that whatever you do in some other part of the world wouldn't affect them in some way. You know the you know the saying where they say when a butterfly flaps its wings somewhere there is a typhoon or a tornado someplace else. You know it just shows you the basic smallness of what we call the cosmos that we are all interrelated. We are all connected. What does freedom mean to you? For me, I have the freedom to travel pretty much whenever I want. I have the freedom to be, you know, of service and I love to be able to have the ability to do so. The ability to do so is really important to me. So define what your freedom is, what your definition of freedom. Let me know. Leave a comment on the blog, on the YouTube channel, like us on Facebook. And in the meantime, if you haven't done so already, I'm surprised if you haven't by now, subscribe to the newsletter below. Have a wonderful day and go for that freedom.